Hey guys, Eclipse 14 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Warrior. Alright, closing in on that full plate, so let's go to the desert and keep grinding. As I continue this grind simulation podcast, because there's not nothing else to do right now. Yay, first encounter, you run away! Second encounter, you actually decide to put up a fight! And fail, because you suck. You saw your friend get killed, so you decided to run off so you don't face the same fate. And we're in the desert, so let's get to grinding for that 3,000 gold. Okay, so, I guess the, uh... Gonna go ahead and continue off from where I left off in uh, the podcasting, in which I was actually talking about some of the games that I would like for some of the consoles I own. I already did the NES last episode, so we'll skip that and move on to, uh, something else, like the Sega stuff, because I had been wanting to get into Sega consoles for a while. My biggest problem, however, is I think some people have the same issue, is the fact that some of them are just flat pain in the ass to pick up anything good. This is especially the case for Sega CD and Sega Saturn, which... Even if you do find something worthwhile, it'll cost you completely out of your ass. I actually saw a copy of the first Lunar on Sega CD for 200 bucks. Whoosh! Definitely costly. But, uh... Yeah, and what kind of sucks is I only own two Sega CD games. Sonic CD and Vi. Vi is expensive as it is, and I got lucky getting that cheap before it got bad. And then, uh, Sonic CD was just kind of with when I got my Sega CDX. So... It's tough to comment on the so Sega CD and the Sega Saturn, because they are the, they are brutal in On the Wallet for consoles that just kind of disappeared. And then, of course, um... Yeah, the best... Yeah, if I find anything Sega, it's usually just the cheap Genesis stuff. And that's really all you find. If I'm lucky, I find a couple good Dreamcast games. But that's... That's few and far between as well. Especially considering I actually need to get my Dreamcast fixed, because the disk drive decided to die right as I was about to finish Evolution 2. The disk motor decides to no longer function. And the worst part is that Dreamcasts are getting expensive. Shit. So, I kinda have to figure out how to get that crap repaired, because at this point... At one point in time, it would have been said to just... It would be cheaper to buy a new system than to get it repaired. Now, that's probably the reverse, all things considered. Because I know the frickin' Dreamcast... If I saw it right, the white ones were going for 120 for the deck alone. And I actually saw a black one that was on sale for 200 so... Whoosh. Yeah, I was actually in the mood of finishing Evolution 2. I was at the last fucking dungeon also. Just needed to get all the way to the top, fight the final bosses, and I was done. And it did work out. That kind of sucks, but, uh... Dreamcast has been fun. It has been fun. I do like playing. I did like playing, I should say, considering it's now fucking collecting dust because the disc motor failed. But, um... Yeah, I was having some fun with it. There were still a few games I would have loved to pick up. Um... I think, uh... I think the one game that really caught my attention that I would have loved to have got was one of the Power Stone games. I think that was the one that caught my eye the most. Don't really remember off the top of my head. But I picked up the really good ones. I own Skies of Arcadia. I got Sonic Adventure and Sonic Adventure 2. Sword of the Berserk Guts Rage caught my attention, but it kind of got soured by the fact that the game was pretty short. And, uh, that's kind of all I got to write about it for that one. Saturn, I've got, uh, Shine the Holy Ark and Outer Odyssey as my notable games. Panzer Dragon 2 as well. 
as well, and the only other games I have is Sonic 3 Blast and Doom for that system. All of which are pretty good. I'm glad I got them. And, uh... Other than that, I've just, uh, I've had very poor luck with the system in general. Genesis, on the other hand, I've picked up a few interesting ones, and there was one that kept ca that kept getting my eye in the form of El Viento, because I've heard about it. It's cartridge only, but I've heard about it, it caught my eye, and any other renovation games on the Genesis, they don't show up often, they are kind of costly, but I usually try to look for them. I know Valis was one that caught my eye, and three of those games are on the frickin' Genesis, and the last one's on the Super Nintendo. I hope to find them at some point, but El Viento is probably like the first one that'll catch me. Uh, I do not own any of the renovation games so far. I've had my chance to pick up several, and I just never got the time. Never got the chance to do so. But I've been looking into the Genesis more and more, because it's a system that just kind of disappeared in my eyes. And the most recent Sega pickup I got was R-Type for the Master System. That was fun to replay that, considering I had the chance to, uh... Pick up, uh, our types for the PlayStation. I played the first game there all the way to the end, so it was nice to play it again on a different system. Alright, 200, less than 200 to go. Pretty sweet. But yeah, not, not, uh, not much luck on Sega. PlayStation, obviously, my PS1 collection's freaking humongous. Compared to the rest of them, 80 over 80 games is still gonna grow because there's still stuff I want to pick up for it. I think the top one that kept catching my eye was Saga Frontier, Dragon Warrior 7. I've mentioned last episode because I was still thinking about trying to get three for the NES. And um, there's just, there's several PlayStation games I'm gonna try to get, but. Uh, some of them were getting pretty nasty. Some of them I got lucky and got them while they weren't as nasty, like Persona. On the, the first Persona, I should say, because I never did get the chance to get the second one, and that fucker's now 300-some bucks. But Persona's 400, so... Can't argue there. Suicoden 2 was picked up while it was still just like, eh, 100 bucks. I know I paid a good chunk of that, but better than the 350 it is now. And, uh, that's about it, really. I just, it's more me really trying to look around. PS2, on the other hand, is just kind of floundering around, because I just, I'm trying to look, trying to get, I need to get a system that works. And I haven't even had the time to do it, had the chance to do it. I'm just looking for more games and whatnot. Although I should do consoles now. Um, I think the only, the, the only PS2 game that really caught my attention that I really would have loved to play was MS Saga, which was a Gundam-style game, if I remember it right, because I saw, I heard about it from someone, saw some gameplay about it, caught my interest, and I've been looking for it ever since. Never have found it. Fortunately, it's not as expensive as it guys thought it could have been, so hopefully I'll get the chance to, if all else fails, I can just get it online before it gets nasty. I haven't even had a uh, online order for any game in a really long time. I don't even remember the last one that I did. Actually, I could, because uh, my 3DS, I used to take a photo of every game I picked up on that day, if not close to that day, if I didn't have it with me for some reason. And, uh, I'm pretty sure my last pre-order was on one of those days, because I stopped in 2017 and just kind of floundered there since then. So, I'll figure that out pretty soon. Anyway, we are at 41 gold remaining, and you are a wuss. Imagine being such a wuss. Three, four, or 2,400 experience. I think my next level up's 500 away, because I don't think it's 3,000. 
It's pretty close, though. Come on, one skeleton will do it. One skeleton will definitely do it at this point. Come on, come on. There we go. There it is, 3,006. Victory is ours, we are done with the full plate grind. But we're still two-thirds completed because we need to get a bronze sword. Full plate. At least it's not as bad as I thought, so 500 gold is not bad. I'm gonna go ahead and just heal up. We only have, uh, we have four minutes, so I don't, we're not gonna get a thousand gold in four minutes, that's just not possible. But I am going to heal up. At least get a little closer, at least. 200 sound unreasonable? I don't think. It's, uh, too unreasonable, I think. Just get back in the desert and fight. So yeah, the main part is officially done. Now I just gotta do the extra bulk by going towards the bronze sword. For 1,500 gold. And it'll be the last time... Yeah, that full plate part will probably be the last time my gold ever goes over experience for the rest of the game. 41 damage is a damage record. Christ, you're still hitting by three, even with the freaking full play. Wow. Of course you run off. At least one part's done at this point, which is the, actually the most expensive part of the whole thing. Now I just gotta deal with the freaking, um... I have to deal with the broadsword, and that's really it. Although I should probably get the large shield, I don't know, I think that's a thousand gold. But I'm already grinding enough as is, good lord. I still have to grind quite a few levels, and that's really all we gotta do. I have said multiple, multiple times, this game is a grind simulator. This game should have been named Grind Simulator. But I guess Dragon Quest would have been better anyway. So, whatever. At least you decide to not have a fit and run away. So I'll commend you for that action, but not much else. Heal up! I have one minute to get about 60 gold. 62. I probably won't make it this time, but... Heck, I can probably get it within just a slight bit afterwards, because probably random encounters before I get there. Or just get a bunch of scorpions out, right? Oh, 
Well, 697 at least, in 15 minutes, so I got close. And this should end up giving me enough to pay for the inn, and I'll still stay at 700. As long as I get over there. Then again, maybe not. Oh well, at least I got the full plate today. Uh, well, at this recording anyway. So, talk. Good night. And with that, I will continue my grind next episode for the Bronze Sword. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.